Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros, kids. Got uh, got some meats on the show. There's two things we love in this world: drinking and meats. Right. Fucking is probably third on that list. Oh, sorry about that, Shelley. Um, <laughs> if you thought you were on a different show, uh, you're not. You're you're definitely on Drinking Bros. No, so she's you're welcome. Shelley's from the boot campaign and surrounded by military people all the time. I'm pretty sure she's used <laughs> to hearing some bullshit. Oh, you know? I know. She was in the background. We were doing some other bullshit before, yeah. so we know that we can say that around Shelley. Yeah. Shelley's cool. <laughs> she's drinking. For I Christ's am. sakes, yeah, yeah. That's coffee. <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> we're good to go. Um, okay. Now with you, uh, Moss Mossberg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. You were a tiny man for how much meat you kill. You were real. You were a little tiny man. I mean, it's just we. We had to put you up on some things here. You're killing elk. I'm looking at your website here from Mountain Primal. You're killing elk. Uh, with so the one guy that showed up with a check is the one that we put in the shitty chair that doesn't work properly. <laughs> I'm, sitting on a, I'm sitting on a phone book right now because this fucking chair is <laughs> <laughs> So if I'm squirming, it's not hemorrhoids. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe by the end of the show with that yeah. bullshit. Uh, we, the, we said when he came out, I was like, dude, that's the first thing I'm going to say is you were a very small man, a freakishly <laughs> small. If you think, if you're watching at home on YouTube, and I hope this isn't a two shot right here. It is. I'm sitting next to a midget. I feel like I'm sitting next to the, the guy who played Webster. You actually look about the same on the on the monitor there. Do we really? Yeah. Bro, I told yeah. you. He's this guy really weird. Air, I'm going to pull you out of that chair. I'm a, mount, I'm a mountain of a man, uh, pun intended. I'm, I'm surprised. We look even close to each other because you are very, very so tiny. So the pun is Mountain Primal. It's the meat company that I won't <laughs> shut the fuck up about. Yes. Uh, Dan talks about it all the time. Yeah. I, look, I've had it. Uh, a million times because Dan's always like, do come over and have some elk, have some elk. It, it, it's the best. Yeah. It is the very best meat on the planet. <laughs> is that where Rogan's getting it from? Like, he's not out fucking killing shit all the time, is he? he yeah, he's pretty much killing shit all the time. Mm. Is so, he really? Yeah, yeah he we, we sent him some of our fuel sticks. They had those in the oh, studio really before yeah. they moved, mm. and mm. I, I think they uh, they need to get restocked. So, Yeah, so. I, look, it's it. your company, it's one of those things where it's like, once you know about it, and you start buying the meats, then you really can't go back anymore, and it sucks. Like, I tried to have a normal bullshit steak out of a, a grocery store in North Carolina last week. Machine. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Jesus basically. Christ. I mean, it's like process. It, it is factory process shit. Yeah, no the, attention to detail. It's the got cuts the pink suck. slime on yeah. there. Yeah. 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 And, and my, my wife, who's a, who's a fantastic cook, she was like, what do you think of this steak? And I was like, look, it is not you. This is a, this bullshit meat that I got here. And yeah. the problem was I just had some meat at Dan's house, and I was like, shit. I don't know how you go back after having yours in real life. Obviously, you feel the same way. Um, when did you start this company? Uh, we started in 2014, but um, it took a little while to get the wheels spinning, you know, mm. having animals that grow for a long time. So we sold our first cuts of meat in 2015. Yeah, because it's, it's hard. You, when it's the shipping process of it, right? Um, yeah. Dan, Dan and I have gone through this yeah. a lot on this show. Mm. With, uh, it's the same thing with meal prep. Mm -hmm. Any, any kind of shipping of, of, good, of food like that is going to be a problem, right? Not yeah, a problem. It's, it's just something it's, you got to do. No, deal it's with, a yeah. major pain in the ass. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's got to be frozen. And if you're not there Everybody's on the delivery like, Can date. You guys and ship fresh cuts. And we're like, no, we can't. Yeah, yeah. but it's flash frozen. I mean, it's. Yeah. No, it's, it's. It's not like it's been sitting in a freezer for 30 days before they send it out to you. But a lot, like a lot of restaurants say that they're selling you fresh cuts, but pretty much all that meat's been frozen yeah. before, too. It does absolutely nothing to the meat, too. No. To, uh, damage it. Well, if you, if you think it does, just buy one steak off of his website and eat it and tell me if it tastes damaged to you, because I promise you it won't. I know. And I, if, you, if you go to the website, if you go to Mountain Primal, I'm staring at it right now because, God damn, whoever did your website knocked it out of the park. Thanks. Um, you got the American Highland Beef. Wait, you said thanks. Did you do the website? Yeah, did yeah, you? My, my eyeballs did. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I got don't the, know how to do any of that code stuff. No, hell no. The American Highland Beef, American uh, Berkshire Pork, Bison Union. Bison, is that, is that Burt's? Yeah. yeah. No Burt's. shit. No shit. Yeah, it's the only, place, it's the yeah. only place you can buy Burt Coons bison. Yeah. The, the, only, the only people he'll deal with in regards to bison. Burt is... Burt is, uh, Burt is very... <laughs> he's a moody guy. <laughs> yeah. He's moody. Let's just say that. <laughs> right? He's very particular. Yeah, he's very particular about that. The fact that he's working with you must mean I he likes you because awesome. he doesn't like anybody yeah, else. He is. he is if you're friends with him. If you're not... <laughs> You're just like, oh shit! Does that guy want to kill me? <laughs> well, maybe nah, he does. He, 
he gets misunderstood probably. He's a pretty serious guy, but, mm. you know. He's intense sometimes, but the other time, the, the rest of the time, I mean, he's been on this show a lot. Oh, he's, he's 50, 60 times? He's a no, he's, bird from TV. He's quite a goof. If yeah, you yeah, yeah if great. you want to change that this this one the Bison Union Bison and then just put a picture of Bert's, Bert's Bison, head. but Bert's Bison, but Bert from TV approves this <laughs> and with a, like a thumbs up on it, like right on the website. Um, I he's, think that would help sell more. He's because, pretty good with that design stuff, so maybe I'll oh, give yeah. him a call and have him whip he something. Up. Well, he's got yeah. that. He's got uh, the kids book. The kids book. Yeah, yeah. 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 The moose or whatever the fuck. I think he's. I I, I don't know uh, what the what the thing is called though because I think he just released some more recently. But yeah, it's it's been I, pretty. I successful. wouldn't know. My kids don't know how to read, so. Oh, they, you shouldn't teach them either. No, no. no. Reading no. is for bull. It, that that's just. It's I mean, that's bullshit. Makes you smart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who wants that in life? Um, I'm looking at the rest of your meats here. <laughs> Forgive me for for drooling here. Jesus Christ! You got bacon. You got ground beef. Uh, New York strip. And these are pretty cheap. Like the New York strip is thirteen ninety nine. <laughs> we went to a restaurant last night for real. <laughs> I, we blew. Well, they, they don't come cooked. No, I understand yeah. that. <laughs> I understand that. But like that meat we had last night was was pretty good. Yeah, but it doesn't good. look as good as this. No. And we paid goddamn near a thousand dollars last night on that bill. Like, yeah, it was a high ribeye. You got uh, filet mignon. You got breakfast sausage. What's the what's the difference between breakfast sausage and and others? Just sausage. You know, breakfast sausage has got the maple kind of flavoring yeah. in it, and some of those breakfast spices. Yeah, look at that. You do it with biscuits and gravy. Mm -hmm. uh, don't don't get started. Put in your tortillas. Bis well, here that's what we do. Is yeah. it's, it's tacos here. It's tacos here every yeah. day. I'm, like, I'm a tortilla guy. I, I you like the corner of the flour tortilla. Flour, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Shelly, which way do you day. swing? Every day. Where do you go? For breakfast. For what? Breakfast? Tortillas, dude. For the oh, breakfast flour, burritos. For sure. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Fucking white people, man. No, that's exactly what you, you do, Shelly. I'm with you. I'm with you, Shelly. You get roasted in Austin for that shit. But I'm with you. They're Shelley. all pussies, it so it's meat, not that bad, though, right? Too, isn't it? Right. That's true. Yeah. I mean, a taco yeah. technically is a corn tortilla, typically, yeah. right? But they just don't taste as good as flour, though. Flour's got fat in it. Yeah. yeah. Corn is Shortening. for poor people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like for real. I mean, shit. Corn's for poor people. <laughs> well, it's for elk. Hey, man, eat this. Yeah, I mean, you if you want up, you want to have the best ingredients, obviously. For sure. Um, you've yeah, got ground elk here on your websites, and you've got beef that's one that I buy dogs. all the time. By the way, that's the one. Yeah, I buy yeah. the ground elk. Actually, during when the when the Texas freeze happened, with these severely unprepared for actual human weather, uh, people got surprised by all that shit. I made a bolognese for the office one day out of your elk, yeah. uh, ground elk. It was really yes. good. Um, it, 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 for real, is the best meat I've it's ever so had. Because, yeah. again, a lot of people send us stuff through the mail, and it's just, it's a fucking mess, man. Um, by the time it shows up, either the box is falling out at the bottom, you know, yeah. it's wet, it's soggy yeah. uh, because of the ice or whatever. It's You're the only meat company that seems to have figured it out. We've how long? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say how long. All that stuff. Yeah. It, took, it took us a, well over a year to come up with our packaging system. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine, man, because most people who are getting into that game, um, they can never figure out the shipping element of it. Yeah, well, we just kind of treat it like a game ourselves. You know, we'd like make mm. these boxes, hang them from a rope in the uh, shop at the ranch and let the guys take turns whacking it with a baseball bat. And, no yeah. shit. Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with the meat in it. We're, so uh, it's we're basically like cause, that because when you see the shippers, how they handle it, they like oh, treat yeah. each box like a bowling. The ball. opening scene is like the opening so. scene of Ace Ventura yeah. when he's kicking that fucking package yeah. down the, yeah. the hole. Yeah. Like, last week, I nearly choked the guy out. He was coming to pick all of our all of our boxes up that were going out. Yeah, and he literally does the Ace Ventura, <laughs> throwing them into the truck. No, sir. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, do you hunt and kill all this yourself? No. You should it's have said all, yes. It's all, it's all USDA process. You don't typically I, hunt I, cows, I, dude. Hey, hey. I'm not I, sure if you're I familiar them up. <laughs> I teed them up. That was, no. that, was your, that was the way out of the little man's disease. And you should have said yes. I kill all of my meat with my fucking bare hands. <laughs> yeah, you strangle each cow. No, yes. No, we use a spear. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen the logo? Like and Leonidas. Six foot tall spear. Yeah. He's running a Roman phalanx in this yeah, fucking... We'll get him right in the throat right. so we don't waste any meat. Yeah. So, hey. You know. You, you don't want them to see it coming because it fouls the meat, right? Yeah. If they get scared. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's get true. All, all kinds of bad cortisol. Yeah. Things Str like that. Strangling's probably not the best idea. Eh, no. I mean, it worked on Aaron Hernandez, but he did it to himself. Yeah. So yeah. yeah he did what it you want. Oh, yeah. Exsanguination. Exsanguination. Yeah. Draining that blood out. I had Got some it. blood drained this morning because I uh, have high hemocrit, and this woman continuously ruins my arm. Like I, every is that time, what it is? Yeah. Every time you come in, you've got a black arm every, for like a week. Every time she what comes in to do it, like yeah. I, I have high red blood cell count, so I get a pint of blood taken out about every month, right? 
and this is uh, every month for, for about a week. I've got a huge black mark on my arm. I don't know if it's worth it. I should just die. Yes, dude. Die. I, I should have like, died a long time ago, to be honest. No, minor inconveniences are all it takes for me to die now. Yeah. It's like, oh, so is God. That, is that the cure once a month? Uh, yeah. Is there anything else you can be doing? Uh, I mean, not really because I take TRT as well. And if I, I'm not going to stop doing that. I'm also not going to stop eating red meat. Right. So this is the Thank cure. You. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. how, how does one get into this in the first place? Yeah. What did you do before? Uh, I've, I've had kind of an interesting life for mm -hmm. sure. So a lot of the things that I did in my life kind of set me up to be able to pull this shit off. Right. You, you've killed not... someone. You look like a guy who's killed someone. What are you, a cop? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get closer. Uh, There's something in your eyes. And I'm like, that motherfucker's killed somebody, dude. He's killed somebody He's before. just jealous. His, his only real goal in life, I don't think he cares what happens to his kids when they grow up. He just wants to kill somebody before he dies. I want to murder someone, yeah. but it's, it's for hey, something. I think we're going to go downtown Austin later tonight. Yeah, it's true. We it's not, it it's not that. Yeah, it's like, it it's like dancing. It's, it's for a minor inconvenience where it's like somebody that, that cuts you off. Or a cyclist. Or Let's a, be or real. A bicyclist. When you finally Snipe, uh, snap, it's going to be a cyclist. Uh, it's going to sure. be a multiple. Cyclist with a mask on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what are you hiding from there, buddy? Multiple yeah. cyclists yeah. Is, is what it's going to be, and I'm going to go the full yeah. France on that, but uh, <laughs> in my truck. Yep. I, I, yeah, that's that's who I want to murder. It's not like I want to you know, sit out in the woods for three days. Let's just say, if I have, mm -hmm. I wouldn't tell you right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Not, not on yeah. the air. Come on. Well, Somebody has. Somebody has in real life. We, we had to scrap that episode, but. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Totally kidding. <clears throat> um, yeah, but, but in all sincerity, like um, you said you had an interesting life. Did you know you wanted to do this growing up? Uh, <clears throat> not necessarily, but we, uh, we started making moves in our life to kind of create a certain lifestyle. And the best way to explain it is like by us selling the meat and, and putting these products out there, it allows us to live the lifestyle and to create the cycle over mm -hmm. and over again. So, you know, living on the ranch, living in Western Colorado, kind of living that life that uh, it's not an adventure that you go out on. Like you're not going on a ranching trip like you would a hunting trip. You're right. just sort of living the life yeah, yeah. every single day, seven days a week. So yeah. that's what we were looking for. Because a lot of people watch like Yellowstone and they're like, great, man. I think I, I could do that. Somebody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Quite a few, actually. Yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, most like hipsters and they're like, oh, shit, I could do that. No, you couldn't. Um, I mean, we've had some musicians out to the ranch, not Ryan Bingham, but other people right. that may remain nameless. Yeah. They How did they fare? They didn't do so well is what um, you're implying. Yeah. We, we had uh, too much fun a couple of times. Mm. But yeah. Luck. They're still invited back. It's a stressful <laughs> job. It is. Yeah, you got to blow some steam off, right? Yeah. 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 What, what, what time do you get up in the morning and, and start getting after it? I'm, I'm usually up by 5 a.m. Unless I've been doing a long... Dry, a mm. lot of driving or something like that, and then I'll try to catch up on sleep. But yeah, five a.m. And what time? Up. What time do you go to bed? Oh, probably eleven. Mm, yeah. Shit. So I usually wake up around ten a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, but I don't go to sleep until like two or three or four sometimes. Same. I, I yeah. stay up late. At, the only time that somebody's not blowing me the fuck up is late at night, so we can actually we write a lot. Yeah. And I can't. There's just no way to do it during those daytime periods. Plus, I'm at my house. High shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's be real. Yep. Uh, it's a lot more conducive to a creative environment than being here with fucking Florida man over there staring at me the whole time. Yeah. Uh, Florida yeah, man's over there, fake dude. Dan. I want everybody to light fake Dan up because he keeps trying. All day he's been on this bullshit about how Florida man is a construct. It's not real. It's only like one or two people or whatever the fuck. No. The first guy was out right in Miami and he ripped somebody's fucking face off. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Are you Mike? Mike up here so you can defend yourself. No, he can't, he can't defend himself. He can't. He can't defend himself. He can mic up. He just can't defend himself. You're supposed to Google your birthday and Florida man and see what pops up. Right. It'll be. Is so that real? Let's. let's, yeah. let's I'll do look it. that up right now. Pull that up, Bob. Yeah. Pull that up, Bob. Google your, Google your birth date. Yep. And then uh, a Florida man after. Yeah, it. Who? It doesn't matter. Uh, just make make so one up. Let's see. Mine is two twenty five. 91. Nope. So go nope. go with that one. Nope. Uh, Bob, 225. You're off 91. by about 40 years there, brother. No, 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 no. You are old as shit. You'll be dead. What, what is, uh, what's the first one that pops up there? That was my birthday. Oh, it, oh, of course. No, do your birthday, Hot Bob. Not, not the fucking people on the show. Come on, man. Come on. You're better than that. Uh, what, is, what is your birthday? The day before yours. Okay. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Shit. 
Happy birthday. Florida man charged with battery after allegedly throwing cookie at girlfriend. Now, come on, man. <laughs> what is the, what's the smallest item you can throw at somebody and not be charged with a crime? Sorry, that was the second one. That was the second one. What's the first one? Oh, he's got a fucking face tattoo. Florida man charged with trying to join Islamic militants. Both are, are equally awesome. Can you put that on the screen and then scroll down to the picture of this young man? Yeah. Pop him up there on Because he's screen. not looking too hot. Where was it? What happened? Uh, when you get down to some of these janky articles, they usually switch it up on you for... I mean, this is TaiwanNews.com. A uh, big fan <laughs> of their work. I read it every morning. I used to, I used to get it delivered to the house. Uh, stop doing that. But uh, Click images. Yeah. Put yeah, his name in and then click images. The Let's see this guy. Yeah, just the image. Let's see the image. Bring him up. Well, that's certainly... Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks about what I expected. Looks exactly who So I he's not the guy with fucking face tattoos then. E, it's it's that's a hard one to determine. I mean, he might have some, but he wasn't. Yeah, that no, no. Uh, but that, that, yeah, that's about what I expected. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. Um, well, that's your birthday. Yeah, thirty-three. Crazy. No, you're it? not thirty-three. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, same, not at all. Same. No. Uh, same. Uh, just tied Jesus this year. So. Anyways, back to the fucking actual show we're doing here. So, <laughs> It, ha it happens. We've been drinking that day. Uh, <laughs> We're drinking now. Yeah. Shit. So you're, uh, you said you've lived an interesting life. Tell me about that because I, I want to hear because we, just, we recently had a, an author on named James Altucher, right? He's a really smart guy. And he talks great about- show, yeah. Yeah, it's a great show. He talks about having a lot of micro skills. Yeah. Like will help you, quote unquote, skip the line. It's the name of his book, Skip the Line. Like you don't have to yeah. wait in line and, do, and pay your dues and all that bullshit. If you figure out a lot of micro skills, you can apply them at a macro level and blow the doors off of people easily. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of how I feel about, um, you know, running the meat company, running the ranch, is that there's all kinds of different things that it, that it takes that a lot of mm -hmm. modern people just aren't, aren't used to, aren't accustomed to, you know, long hours, weird days, bad weather, you know, sunshine, trailers hauling trucks moving animals just and a lot of that stuff is it just seemed easy for me so right, yeah. based on the things that i did in my life so what did you do in your life well I, oh, after I, after you killed whoever you killed <laughs> what did you do in your life whomever whomever yeah. uh, of course it's, sorry. it's fine we, sorry. the murder part's fine but the other part yeah yeah, yeah. so after you so killed let's get the english right. after you yeah. killed whoever you did kill and they probably <laughs> deserved it so they deserved it right well, yeah we're not making then what did you judgments. what did you do that was so crazy well, it's, it's not that crazy. I mean, it's just hunting and fishing, northern Minnesota, you mm. know, getting thrown in a duck blind when you're four or five years old. Right. Just different kind of hardships that we grew up with. You know, kids of the, kids of the modern era don't grow up like kids of the 1970s, right, of course, 1980s yeah, yeah. did. For so, sure. um, you know, living with kind of a crazy old man that was always looking for an adventure. Yeah. I grow, mean, to be honest. Growing up in a male-centric household. You, you grew up outside of Minneapolis, right? Yeah. Even even a lot even today actually a lot of the lefties in the Twin Cities have generational history of going hunting. Yeah, for like sure. Like it's mm -hmm. it's it's kind of like Vermont where most even lefty people own well, they, at least a shotgun or something. Yeah, like I mean that, they right? they shut down some of the entire schools for deer hunting opener in Minnesota. <laughs> so like some some schools will just get Friday off. Yeah, yeah. Some schools will get Friday and that whole entire first week at deer hunting camp. That's off. really funny because none of the teachers will be there anyways. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why not? Yeah, that's I, cool. So we grew up. You know, I grew up driving a stick shift yep. pickup truck at the at the hunting camp when I was mm -hmm. like eight years old. Three on a tree or no four on the floor. Ah, yeah. no shit. All yeah. Right. yeah. And, I, know, had a three a I had, I had an old F100 that I used to, we, well, we, yeah. we took the, what did it have, a 390 big block, and we, or it had a 390 big block, and we put a six-speed transmission and a 454 in that bitch, and then I proceeded to ruin a lot of lawns. <laughs> no, that's perfect, because yeah. you're not going to wreck the truck popping exactly. up over the curb. Nope. Yeah. nope. The reason why I bring it up, if, if that's what you grew up with, right, yeah. you're prepared for everything in life after that. No, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> and then I went to college, and then after college, I... Uh, I built homes for a living, mm. you know, did real estate and built custom homes and, you know, did every aspect of that. And so there's all kinds of weird stuff that you get involved with from, you know, being a businessman and making deals on land and, and different houses and customers and things like that. So this, this thing seemed easier to me. Yeah, I mean, it just was easy. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, if and you're the big thing, I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't wake up one day and then have what we have. Going to start you know, a meat company. <laughs> yeah, it's taken a long time. To, of course. To a long it. time, man. I mean, because something like this, I would imagine, what would you say, three, four years to be profitable? Because you have to get 
all of this and we like, we talked to bird about it on the show well there's at least with one the year bison. of nothing but loss because you're waiting on your first product yeah right? yeah but but you're not you, the only if you're looking at the terms of wins or losses right. you guys are just talking about money right correct mm -hmm. yeah of course so but there's all kinds of wins that you have in your personal life mm -hmm. like while you're on that journey right of, of trying to get the meat saleable sure you know n now we've got our compound more or less set up mm. at our house and you know we're ready for pretty much anything so but what yeah. are the what are the joys in it because you know when everybody's starting a company well it's that, it, it is hard work and, and dude I, like I, like dan and i we are, this that, is all our own money in this yeah. every single day We've so never it's taken like any money from anybody we just built everything from the ground up and that's the way you got to do it to be honest yeah. but it's hard well you don't want the outside yeah, but influence. i don't i don't enjoy doing easy shit Right. I Nobody don't. does. I mean, this is yeah. fucking America, man. Yeah. We looked at the most dominant power on earth at the time as a bunch of farmers basically like, you know what? Get the fuck out. Oh, you want to fight? Cool. Let's do that. And then yeah. we won against a far superior force. This is what America does. Right. Yeah. So I'm not into doing easy stuff. Right. You know, it's like once in a while, but that's the type of stuff you, you just jump into the easy pile and that you right. feel guilty about all that later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I like doing all the hard stuff because then you can... You know, I like doing it. the hard stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Talking about cocaine, right? Yep. <laughs> cocaine. Uh, this one and, won't uh, shut the fuck up over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jelly. She has to stop talking yes. since we started. I will say that Shelly. you get everything at Mountain Primal. We Is order often as mm -hmm. a family. Tried everything on the site. Pretty yeah. Much. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, tell everybody what you do, Shelly. I'm the CEO of Boot Campaign, and we are a veteran service organization that helps restore the lives of those who served and sacrificed for us. So we talk a lot about the boot campaign on this show. Yeah, uh, Matt I mean, Best uh, in particular, mm -hmm. um, he was the one that brought uh, that organization to light because his biggest thing was a lot of these military charities, you don't know where the money's going. Yep. And um, he had said, you know, him and Evan and those guys have been duped in the past for some other. Well, sponsor. everybody got duped by. I'm, fuck these guys. Wounded Warrior Project fucked a lot of people over, and they wasted a lot of people's money. I, we're not going to pull punches here because these people took food out of the mouths of goddamn veterans. Fuck these people, right? Now they've done a lot of good in in the meantime or since then, mm -hmm. once they rolled over their fucking leadership and shit. But don't pull punches. It is really important that organizations like Boot Campaign and Warrior Heart that Tom Spooner runs and Independence Fund that Sarah uh, Verardo runs and organizations that actually do good shit and don't, I mean, look, technically speaking, it is legal to only spend 2% of your fucking revenue on a 501c3 towards the goal of your fucking company. You can spend 80 or 98% on administrative fees and marketing and whatever the fuck else you want. Yeah. Technically speaking, that is legal. And a lot of people take advantage of that. You, a lot, all the studies done on, <clears throat> I talked about this on American Party earlier, but a lot of the studies done on how cancer research funding has been used is nonsense. About 95% of the money has just disappeared and 5% has actually gone towards research. So, you know, it's your company. We, we, I was the VP of marketing at the time with Black Rifle. We spent a lot of time vetting before we got involved because like he said, a lot of people have been duped by a lot of these charities before. It is one of the best out there, in my opinion. Thank you so much. I and that. I want you to go into a little more detail about exactly what you guys do. Yeah, well, I think, firstly, Boot Campaign was founded um, 12 years ago, and one of the main pillars of when we started is financial transparency. Mm -hmm. So everything is on our website for all the world to see. We're independently audited um, every year. On average, um, 87 to 88 cents of every dollar goes straight back to those that we serve. Which is the exact opposite of most charities, right. by the way. Yeah, we're still we're still gunning for that 90 cents. Um, that's been my goal since I joined the organization, right. and so we're hoping to do that uh, within the next couple of years. But as an organization, we have three main programs. Essentially, we started with the boot by getting celebrities, influencers, and civilians to lace up a pair of combat mm. boots as an expression of gratitude. We still do that. Um, we still stay true to that, and every purchase that's made of a pair of boots on our website, on average, about 50% 50, 50 goes straight back to our programs. We do have a co-branded limited edition boot right now with Black Rifle, um, and 100% of the proceeds from those boots 
goes straight back to our health and wellness program. The, the, so. the boots are amazing, by the way. Thank you. Um, they yeah. came out really well. And I, it's, I think if I remember, they sold out like that. At least they didn't have my size. Oh, well, we might, we didn't sell out completely yet, but. My yeah. size was gone. I was like, <laughs> shit. As soon as they popped well, what up. What size are you? 12. Okay. I'm actually buying a 12 right now. <laughs> yeah. Are you right now? You want me to get two? Yeah. Uh, will you please? Yeah. For, for real. So I, I tried to get them, I think, <laughs> two months ago. And um, there, there's a, a separate group called, uh, I think it's Full Mag Coffee. Um, Justin Mathier, I hope I'm pronouncing Maybe his last name no right. Um, he know, so. posted them and he was oh. like, just what came in the mail. Yeah. And it was the boots. And I was like, oh shit. So I went to the site to try to get the boots and yeah. my size is gone. But I wear a popular size that's, yeah. that was gone. But wow. I try to get those like day one. Um, so you got them back up. We got them back up. You can get a pair right now. Those are popular. Yeah. Those are popular. I just bought two pair. Thank you. Um, yeah. well, let me ask you this. Yeah. When you looked at all the, veter the, like, the veteran charities that are out there in the world, did you say to yourself, all right, we're going to be different on purpose because you've seen what has happened in the past? Well, I didn't start the organization. So I joined Boot Campaign in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's really important to be transparent with how you're spending the money. I mean, like you said, it mm. can be misconstrued and misused, and we don't want to do that. I mean, our entire team, um, we're majority civilians. Mm. We do have military spouses and one veteran. And we want to make sure that we're staying true to our mission, which is serving the people that served us first. Right. Um, and that's what we need to do. And that's how we should spend our money. Right. Um, we're lean and mean. There's um, eight of us on staff and we just really believe in everything that we do. And how did you guys link up in real life? Oh, in real life, I think it was Morgan Luttrell yep. mm -hmm. um, initially. Marcus's is twin brother. Marcus's twin brother, yep. Yeah. Identical twin brother. Every time Identical we see him, we, we bring it up. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. And because that's all oh, he you gets don't make in real fun life. of how small he is, do you? Uh, him? No. no he's no, a no, six no. foot three Texan. He's just talking shit. Yeah, <laughs> for, for a guy like me, though, who could overpower you know someone like you, like it's fine. <laughs> Morgan, though, I'm not going to say shit you're, to him. You don't say no to Morgan. I mean, uh, he's I, the reason I came. He said yeah. to yeah. me, um, I want you to work for Boot Campaign. And right. so here I am. And he said to John, I want you to donate to Boot Campaign. Yeah. And so here we are. Well, they're all good people over there. Yeah. That, whole, that family's given a lot to this country. And so have you guys. I mean, so one, one of the things is the boots. What else do you guys do? Um, like the, and these are, these are the fundraising elements. We'll get into what you, the services you provide for veterans afterwards. So go through the, the fundraising efforts the first. Fundraising efforts. That. Well, we have a ton of events usually when there's yeah. not uh, COVID going around. We have several things happening um, in the state of Texas on our website. We're getting ready to kick off uh, May 1st, what we call 31 by 31, which is we're trying to get people up and moving and active and then honoring um, an active duty service member or a veteran for 31 days. We have right. a 68-year-old gentleman um, he was very close with a lot of the guys who died on extortion okay. and he's running 31 miles every single day. In May. Jesus Christ. I've, I've, so over a marathon no. every day. Yeah. Uh, nope. uh, no, no, not a prayer. <laughs> not one prayer. I'm looking Fuck. at your website right now. Everybody so died. I see Dolly Parton on here. Dolly Parton. Yeah. Did you work with Dolly Parton? I personally didn't, but yes, she's been in boots. Dolly Parton is one of the best human beings on earth. Yes. She Let's is. be real about that. Like before it was cool to do it, she was an actual, she was a, a second wave feminist when it still made sense. Uh -huh. And she spent her own fucking money doing it too, by the way. There's a great doc on her on, on oh, Netflix yeah. right now. I just watched, I met her as a, a kid. My dad yeah. was a country <clears throat> DJ oh, okay. growing up. Cool. Um, so uh, I got to meet her as a kid and I was just yeah. awestruck. You talk about like, good oh human beings that made a lot of money that actually gave back to the communities. People like her, like George Strait, like fucking Gary Sinise, Lieutenant Dan. Mm -hmm. Gary Sinise may have done more for modern veterans than any other human being on earth, by the way. I don't know Agreed. if you're familiar with that. He but, should yeah. get an Oscar for that alone. Not like, even, I'm not even talking about his role in Lieutenant Dan. I'm talking about no, the no, 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 no. Every I, single day. But they give an Oscar, an honorary oh, one oh yeah, yeah. away. The um, fucking lifetime achievement. Yes. Thing, yeah. And for that, Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, I don't think the Academy gives two fucks about veterans, my man. Wow. I mean, they gave the Hurt Locker a fucking Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> if that tells you anything. They cared. Yeah. They cared in that one. Uh, who Big else oof. is on here? I um, know y'all had uh, AJ Buckley on. Oh, yeah, we love AJ. AJ yeah. Buckley. I see The Rock wearing the boots on your Rock website. Rock is in yeah. boots. We have the Cast the Seal team. Um, great supporters. Yeah, all those guys. Uh, Neil and AJ are good buddies of mine. Uh, Tyler Gray, obviously, has been on the show a bunch, too. Um, good dude. Travis Pastrana is on here. Great. Yeah. yeah. Tra actually, we're doing, so Black Rifle is that thing with Trav. We're going to do a live show Sunday to watch the boat event. That oh, awesome. Did, yeah. Cool. yeah. Hopefully my Travis fucking boots are here by then. been through our program. So obviously being in extreme sports, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of head injury and whatnot. And so he okay. 
found out about us. He wanted to know what we did, and obviously he paid for his own way, but we put him through exactly what we do. So there's a four-part documentary series um, about that. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. Where, where does that live? Um, it's on YouTube. Okay, Is it really? Cool. And who's YouTube? Uh, Boot Campaigns so, and Nitro Circus. Okay, great. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's great. So now we can get into uh, some of the stuff, the services you provide for veterans. So you're talking about traumatic brain injury then? Yes, so we have, um, in 2016, Thanks to Morgan, who had his own experience uh, with a head injury during a training um, accident, he got everything the special operations community could provide, essentially. Right. And he wanted to make sure when he separated from the Navy that um, anybody, you know, special operator or uh, regular forces could get that treatment and that, that opportunity. And so he started as a hobby, a pipeline, and Boot Campaign adopted it mm -hmm. um, in 2016. So we provide individualized care for brain injury, post-traumatic stress, chronic pain, self-medication, and insomnia. Wow. Okay. So. And, and who do you, do you guys actually provide treatment or are you just facilitating getting people to different Both. locations? Okay. Both. Because there's a big TBI clinic actually in Colorado, right? It's, yes, there is. Marcus yeah. Institute for Brain Health is there. Yep. They're one of our partners. We work with Warrior's Heart. We don't yep. treat addiction ourselves. They're right, the yeah, experts. Yeah. Right. Um, I so mean, Tom, Tom and them. his brother down there, they've got it fucking oh, on lock. Dialed in. Yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Warrior's Heart is one of the best organizations out there for those of you. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. We did a piece on it uh, with Black Rifle a couple of years ago, but. Um, so wait, wait, real quick, speaking of Black Rifle here, because yeah. I'm going over, I'm, I'm looking at your websites here, all the, all the people you guys have partnered up with. Black Rifle is, is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Mountain Primal is one of them. Shiner yeah. Beers. Yeah. Uh, Kimber, um, who is a, is a great company as well. Veterans United, uh, Infinite Hero, Fisher House, uh, Jordan Spieth. Yeah. How did Jordan Spieth get involved? Uh, Jordan Spieth is a phenomenal Texan and wanted to do something for military families. Mm. So he essentially, their foundation underwrites our uh, holiday program where we, where we provide specially curated gift boxes for deserving military families. So that's awesome. Yeah. I, so you, you never good. like, and that's why I wanted to, to shout these guys out here. Uh, Texas whiskey is on here. Uh, Airstream of DFW is also on here. Um, these are all great companies. That's amazing that everybody is, has gotten behind you because uh, again, when, when Matt was on the show, mm -hmm. um, he championed you guys till the end of the, the, the earth. And he was wow. like, this is the campaign. He goes, dude, if I'm donating money, this is where it's going. Right. And um, uh, the fact that you guys have grown this massive, I'm just going through your website. It's crazy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. With a small team like that. I mean, this is one of the biggest. I, so I did a show on American Party earlier today with Bob Carey from the Independence Fund. I'm okay. not sure if uh -huh. you know Independence Fund, but um, the show is in particular about the rise of veteran suicide and not just veteran, but active yep. reserve and guard suicide as well, particularly this year, uh, there's been a big uptick. Now, <clears throat> from what we understand about all this, uh, one of the biggest contributing factors to veteran suicide and active duty suicide police as well is traumatic brain injury mm -hmm. that leads to uh, one, a variety of different disorders. Uh, one of the primary ones is affecting the endocrine system and having hormone issues, yeah. right, that just drive you fucking nuts. And traumatic brain injury is one of those things that took a long time for people to take seriously. It's oh, yeah. the invisible wound or whatever the fuck you want to call it. People thought it was, I mean, we've called it a lot of different shit throughout the years, shell shock, whatever the fuck. But in reality is when you get this, is, and we learned this from the NFL trying to hide it that whole time, traumatic, uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy will fuck your life up mm -hmm. badly unless you interdict it at the earliest possible point. Well, That's you, what you guys are doing. Yeah, exactly. And thank you for saying that. I mean, I think what's important is that we're learning so much about the brain and the science is changing so rapidly that as we're un making these new discoveries, we're able to intervene sooner. Mm -hmm. And the whole purpose of boot campaign is to show veterans that there is hope, that there is someone there that's listening, ready to help you, um, and able to provide quality care that's going to be tailored to you. So we are not a one size fits all. We are not a group program. Every single person who goes through our program gets what they need based on their brain health, their, you know, physical makeup, their blood work. Um, yeah. Everything is tailored to that specific individual. That's amazing. And if, um, if we can, Bob, can we uh, pull up the boot campaign on the on the screen here for the YouTube audience to show it because uh, I'm going through the boots that you guys currently sell. The thing about it uh, th that a lot of people get wrong is mm -hmm. that they don't put cool merch and things like that. <laughs> like 
it's you can't just throw a guild and t-shirt out there and be like hey support us yeah. nobody will wear that shit yeah. um go to their uh pull up the boots the boots are dope um there's the black rifle ones we were talking about right there yeah um but uh, yeah, if you scroll down through their list of bo uh, boots, there, uh, go to the, highlight the second one there. Um, how did you how did you hook up with Reebok? We work with a variety of different boot providers, um, and they really cater to us based on what they can to provide us um, a low cost of good, but also really quality product that's actually worn by those people who are serving us. And so every single shoe that you see on there, uh, with the exception of the Black Rifle coffee right, yeah, boot, yeah. Uh, for example, is worn by somebody in the DOD space, um, whether or not they're training or they're downrange somewhere. So. Yeah, these are awesome. I'm, I'm going through all of them right now. Because um, the apparel, if you keep scrolling down here, uh, the hoodies are awesome. I, this is a key to any organization or anything. Like, just have cool merch. Yeah, we're I gonna, might be a little costlier, right? Oh, yeah. It's and, definitely a uh, not gonna, product. Yeah, you're not going to make as much on the back end. But if, if it's cool and people wear it, it gets your message out yeah. there further. Nobody does that. They, no. they just don't think it's about a, that. It's always a huge mistake. I mean, the, it's what Starbucks uh, figured out in the late 90s. They started building Starbucks everywhere, mm -hmm. even though they were taking about a 40% loss on each building because it was planting a flag. And everybody, the word Starbucks became the word coffee. Yeah. They're like, they didn't say, you're going to get a coffee? Like, I'm going to get a Starbucks, and it's smart, right? Yeah. Uh, we got to get you guys hooked up with Dixon Flannel. Okay. They do. Yeah, Dixon Flannel's got cool great shit. flannels, yeah. yeah. They also have uh, this pedophile hunter hat. <laughs> Dan's a big fan. Everybody's yeah. a big fan. Everybody's asking if we sell that. We, we currently do not. It no, was a but I'm, joke I'm originally. Working, I'm working on a deal with them now. Are you? We'll, we'll have something with DB logos on it soon. Yeah. But Chuck Liddell ended up wearing it out <laughs> everywhere. And so yeah. there's all these pictures of Chuck like all over the city. Like at, at Lake Travis and shit just hanging out, walking around Austin with a fucking... It's Chuck Liddell. And you're like, you look at him, you're like, double take. Oh, that's Chuck Liddell. Then you triple take. Oh, he's wearing a pedophile hunter hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck is he doing here in Austin right now? And he's with his kids. Yeah. So you're like, oh, all right. Right. Well, shit. Um, <laughs> I could that, have worn that legitimately in my prior life. So yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, 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 for sure, uh, for sure. But yeah, you are going to sell those, aren't you? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but we're going to give. So we're going to sell. We're going to do a deal with Dixon Flannel and give all the proceeds to somebody, probably Operation Underground Railroad or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Whoever's. I mean, if there was an organization that was actually murdering these pedophiles, I would give my money to them, but I don't know if that exists. Man, I don't think honest. it does. No. I don't think it does. I wish it did. Not to drag you guys into my political bullshit, but if yeah. pedophiles need to be executed in the fucking streets. I think that's, that's a universal one for everyone, Dan. Is Everybody it? hates pedophiles, you know? You'd uh, think so, right? One would think. One would think. Um, now, with Primal Meat... Um, what's, what's, Primal. The, what's the... Uh, Mountain Primal. Um, what's, the, what's the grand plan with that? Um, because... We have a lot of food companies that ship through the, you know, the mail and they do the podcast and all that stuff. Is your goal to be big enough that you're a, a worldwide, you know, global brand or is it, man, I just want to make the best meats possible for a small amount of people? No, we're, we're definitely not going to focus on becoming a worldwide brand. We're, we're going to focus on scarcity. You know, I mean, we're, we got to have enough to make it work, which mm -hmm. we do at this point. So it's, it's working out fine. Um, it, it definitely helps having uh, Burt's bison as an as an extra protein source, right? And that's something that that he and I are in a discussion about <clears throat> scaling on a, right. on a larger, you know, longer. Yeah, larger you were saying before. There's there's all this other stuff in the food packing and food processing shit. So you guys don't process because that has to be regulated by the FDA. You also USDA. don't do yeah. USDA, sorry, yeah. and you also don't do quote unquote organic stuff because that's the same deal. You don't, yeah. what, what was the phrase you used? I said, I don't want any damn federal officials on my property. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's very a Yellowstone. Very, that's a very Western thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, get off my land, you son of a bitch. Yeah, we, we looked into doing that at one point and it, it just doesn't make sense. That's, it's really a, a complicated business. Um, it's high, high, really high turnover with the employees and things, as you can for imagine. Sure, yeah. It's a tough job yeah, for, yeah. for people to, uh, yeah. to last through for a long time. So it's <laughs> a lot of turnover and, being a business owner, when shit hits the fan, I'm the guy that gets called with the problems. And like the last thing I want to be doing is, uh, is managing that aspect of the business. So, right. And it, and they really got the, the companies that we're using now really got it dialed in. We use two small family owned, uh, USDA processing facilities and they're, they're dialed. We couldn't be happier with the way that they, they perform. So yeah, we'll great. let them deal with the feds. Yeah, for sure. So. You're processing beef, bison, elk, uh, pork, what else? That's it. That's Those it? are the four proteins. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Well, you never know, man. I, I'd are love you to saying have those a, are the four te- proteins you provide, or you're just saying the chicken doesn't exist? There are no other proteins exist? beyond that. No. So, <laughs> ah, that's a lie. I had some squirrel as a child, you yeah. know. If, well, you, if you sold some squirrel dick, some squirrel dye, if you will. Yeah. Multiple. That's Deeks obviously the, the, the plural of yeah. it. Some squirrel dye. Yeah. You sold that. That is a tasty, tasty delicatessen. That's, I don't know why you're sucking squirrel dicks. What's that? No, I'm not sucking them. I'm eating them. It's a very tasty <laughs> The it's squirrel a dick has a bone in it, and I know that because I literally have a squirrel dick bone in my fucking bag right and then it, by the way that's true <laughs> that somebody brought gift. that uh, that is a gift and uh squirrel dick bone right there yeah. squirrel die yeah. there it is squirrel yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. that's not on the screen right bob because <laughs> we will get pulled know, down yeah. from youtube if we well, saw no, a just, fully erect squirrel penis is it a, is that erect <laughs> on it appears to, as if it is if that's you, a tiny squirrel and that looks like a, a rather large penis for that size of a squirrel well hey i mean it's all about proportion, right? It really is. But a tasty little squirrel dies is, is all I need in this world. I'm just saying, think about so it. So no, okay. we're, we're not planning on dealing with squirrel, squirrel genitalia. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah I, I, I got to ask. I mean, if I do, you'll be the first person. <laughs> I, and I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. I appreciate it. What's the oddest request you've ever gotten? Uh, Ostrich? No, people. Llama. There's a lot of people that are getting into the organ meats, so we're we're doing that too now. Well, I mean, so it's it's that, pretty healthy stuff. What is what is that? I don't actually know too much about it. People don't kidney, look, liver. Yeah. Oh, fuck it's called, that. It's called the awful. O f f a l. Yeah. So I don't you want don't, any of you that. You don't want. Uh, okay, let me. I'll, I'm going to break this down for you right quick. Right. Yes. For a, a man your size, you Correct. need to eat 28 servings of green vegetables a day to get the nutrients out of green vegetables you need. Mm-hmm. That is obviously not going to happen, right? So right. you got to take supplements or whatever the fuck. People that are on the carnivore or keto diets typically try to get that stuff from organ meat. That's Oof, it. That's brutal. That's that's a simple. Well, I mean, it's it, it, it's actually not. It doesn't taste bad. No, it's so good. when you really, yeah, when yeah. you were growing up, you didn't deer hunt and like eat the heart at deer camp. Not once. See, that's where I'm saying my life's a little different. Yeah, yeah. it is. So, yeah, I bet yeah. you some fucked up shit. Yeah. As the more and more drinks I have, I want to I want to open you up. I want to find out who's inside <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. I want to find out who that killer is inside there. Yeah. Ain't yeah. You married? You're married. Yeah. How did that work out? Did you say two words to her at the bar? She's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Does she run the business side of stuff, or how, how was she involved in your organization? I'm sure well, she does we, we've got a couple different family businesses mm. that we run, so I, I kind of run the the meat company thing. She yeah. takes care of some of the other stuff. Cool. And uh, but we work together on pretty much everything. So yeah, same with yeah. Uh, him and his wife. Same here. Yeah. It's yeah. it's hard. It's, we got it figured out. Well, I can't. I really can't complain. It's didn't, didn't sometimes work here. conversations bleed over into private life you know when you're sitting down at dinner and yeah we just don't do the whole this is personal this is business right it's just our life yeah yeah so i mean that's when you actually live on the fucking ranch that's what that's we signed up thing, for yeah so, yeah yeah but yeah that that side's going fine yeah does she get out there with you like yeah, on yeah. the ranch yeah. yeah oh yeah no shit yeah um, she's a crazy horse rider she's really she's very athletic yeah that's awesome do you guys yeah. do you guys own horses oh yeah oh how many uh well we own at the ranch, we've got five, six head, I think. And then on, on the ranch property, we also run a riding business. Mm. So we, we board other people's horses, and they do riding lessons and stuff like that up there. Man, so. gee, you're going to have to board Jared's horses soon. <laughs> yeah, he's got Did you hear about ones. this? He, did he bought like a 120 acres property thing, and he's got horses now. Full stables, all of it. And it's, it's like... work. Yes, yeah, yes. And a lot of money, too. That, that's what I said I mean, to it's him. like owning fucking 200 Harley Davidsons. They break down all the time. You got to fix them. You, these no, motherfuckers I, eat like crazy, man. At our riding club, we have horse acupuncturists. We have a oh chiropractor God. table. Like, you'd yeah. be amazed. At Is what there a milking table? I don't know about that. He well, knew what it was, though. He did. He knew he exactly did. what he the fuck exactly I was talking about. Sideways smile. That's my <laughs> denial. <laughs> yeah, so Jared said, you know, dude, I got this property. They're closing on it. It's 120 acres, and they've got horses. They were rescue horses? Yeah. Probably, well, rescue. Well, there, there's a lot of horses that end up just going out to pasture. People yeah. don't want them anymore, so maybe well, he's buying them as decoration. Also, <laughs> drop them off in the woods? <laughs> there's also, in your, yeah. in your neck of the woods, there's also all the wild Mustang that uh, Bureau of Land Management captures if you want to call it that yeah, they, they basically put them in stalls to live out the rest of their life so one of my friends in north carolina is going there to auctions buying them and then having horse or having veterans come in and go through the gentling process like turning them into a yeah. horse that can be around other people mm-hmm. and then the veteran gets to keep the horse at the end oh, that's right? cool yeah it's fucking dope we're gonna if we go to the kentucky derby she's probably gonna come out and i'm gonna hook her up with all the fucking rich horse dicks out there oh, that'd be so great. She can, you know because look these people are southern rich and patriotic yeah but they have no idea that this shit's even happening once they figure it out they'll help right yeah i watched uh i watched someone on netflix the other night's uh concrete cowboy 
um, about those. Uh, uh, black that sounds like a gay bar, to be but, honest. No, it's not. It's these, it's, these, it's these black dudes who live in like Philadelphia who have these horses right outside the city. But oh, that's cool as shit. Yeah, it was a super interesting movie. Idris Elba. Was, Are they like from the, the south lead. or something? So, and they it's came a documentary. Up? You said no. Uh, it's, oh, it's it's, it's based on uh, on this book or uh, uh, an article. But Idris oh, Elba's in it, and then the lead is his son is uh, the kid from Stranger Things. Oh, um, super fascinating, but. In, in that movie, I mean, oddly enough that I watched it like two nights ago, it was so much work for just oh, these dude. like five ragtag horses that were oh, feeding and watering uh, and, oh, yes. and farriers and Jesus fucking vets it out there all the time. Ends, man. Holy yeah, shit. And that, that was what the, the movie was about, about teaching this kid hard work and, yeah. and what it is because you, you don't really know until you get into it. And I remember when Bert was on the show, he was talking about the difficulty of bison um, not only in buying them, but what the government puts you through and, yeah. and going to the auction, you have to go to an auction and yeah. buy them and stuff like that. Do yeah. you do all that as well? Well, we, yeah, we've got, uh, we, no, we haven't bought, we haven't bought our cattle from an auction, but we've sold some at an auction. Mm. So, but we, uh, we typically find private families where we've, you know, we, you end up buying breeding bulls and breeding mamas or heifers, right. you know, to get yes. the herd it's, started. It, it's interesting that you can still do that. And maybe it's because the direct delivery meat industry is kind of new, but I, I'm thinking about the American farmer and their inability to take their product right to market and how it's killed their industry, by the way. Well, the thing Having all that bureaucracy between them and the end user has fucked American farming completely. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole different, longer conversation about, like, the, the huge-sized industrial slaughterhouses and yeah, yeah. feedlots and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's, that's a whole tricky conversation. But, yeah, it's... Uh, but when we buy livestock, we still have, there's some certain tests that have to happen. You got to sure. have certain paperwork when you're uh, trucking them and things like that. But the bison thing, I mean, Bert would know way more about that. He's, uh, he's really into that for sure. Well, yeah. when he was first getting into it, I, I was kind of asking him about it. I was like, man, it seems like a ton of work, like, you know, yeah. and he's like, it is, it's crazy. Yeah. Because I, I didn't know really you, how much you can't really think of it as work. It's a life. It's a life. Yeah. It is. You yeah. really uh -huh. have to live it and breathe it 24 hours a day to even make it work. So because we had Buster on. Do you know Buster? Buster, Buster Frierson. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that he's awesome. Is, yeah. is the he's best. He's a no shit cowboy. He is a yes. real life cowboy. Yes. I'm not. I'm sure. not that. Like <laughs> no. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Compared to Buster. No, Buster is he's, like a fucking. I, I grew up roping cat yeah. like calves by their little nub horns and then wrestling to the ground cowboy. And he's been doing oh, yeah. that for the last 40 years. Yeah. That's who Buster is. Yeah. yeah, he's great. Yeah. But he, he talks about when he was on the show, he was talking about uh, ranch life and, and how people can adjust. And, you know, certain people will come in kind of like where you were touching on at the beginning of the episode where it's like people will come in and be like, oh, yeah, man, I could do this for a few days. And it's like, no, you couldn't. You yeah. couldn't. I think you have to be honest with yourself about who you are as a person and whether yeah, or not yeah. that life's for you. Because it, I'm one of those people like, no, no, dude, I'm not built for that type of shit. You yeah. Know? I, I, I sought that out because I don't know, I guess I'm weird, but no, I mean, people, you, it's fun life. I, I do the same thing and it's with a variety of different types of things. Like I just help people do marketing for free sometimes. Cause it's a challenge. Like yeah. that, that seems like a difficult thing you're doing. Let me help you do it because I'm bored as fuck. Let's be real. Life is pretty boring. <laughs> honestly. Like, what are we going to do? Fucking be awake for 18 hours a day and do nothing. No, I mean, I got to do some shit or otherwise I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Yeah. yeah and is sure. that, is that what happened to you where you were just like, man, Fuck all this shit because building houses and selling them, it's, it's, it's let's face it, it's lucrative as shit. It's step right? and repeat. Well, we though. still do it, so I it's, mean, we're still doing some of that. So. Yeah, okay, but it's yeah. step and repeat. It's the same thing over and yeah, over. Yeah, well, and it, over it got again. to a point where it wasn't as challenging as yeah. it used to be. So then you you kind of we kind of fell into this this new lifestyle. So was your wife with you before or after that? Well, we we started the ranching operation together. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Because yeah. that that would be a hard one if uh, if you married somebody and it was like, what do you do? I build houses and I sell that. Well, that sounds cool. And then all of a sudden, it's like, well, we're not doing that. Anymore. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> we're going to be on a ranch. You have to send her an invite to farmersonly.com, dot com. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, no, I think if you I think if you try to do this and you're not like totally aligned with your spouse or partner, oh, like, you're it fucked. Just yeah, can't done. Work because yeah, because it it's a whole life. Yeah, there's no way. Like when you come home and smell like cow shit, you just <laughs> yeah. throw your yeah, clothes. Yeah. In in the laundry room yeah for sure and leave them there like forever yeah and, say, and then <laughs> say gotta, do it uh, yeah everybody's got to be lined up on the values in the <laughs> so do you guys have kids yeah we've got kids yeah uh, uh do, do they have to do the chores and all that stuff like on the yeah, farm they, they've uh they've started to age out of it at this point but um that was that was one of the big things we wanted to do is to have that lifestyle there for them to uh 
gain life experience from at a young age. There's a really so. good book called The Coddling of the American Mind. Uh, and one of the main points, maybe the main point of the book, is that you should prepare your children for the road, not prepare the road for your children. Right. Right. So this idea that we're trying to uh, baby proof everything for kids. Yeah. What's the saying? An easy well, childhood is like the worst. It is the worst thing. You're, you're seeing yeah, it. No. You're actually seeing it. So now. that's that's basically what we yeah. try to do. Th this whole self empowerment, whatever the fuck generation is growing up now, and you're seeing from ages uh, uh, 18 to 34, the highest suicide rates of any generation in the history of America right now. Yeah. Right. And it's not harder to live in America right now than it was before. Cause there were people maybe a little while ago that had to wake up and go find food for the day. Like, I don't worry about that. Most people in America don't worry about that. Right. right. They may have to at some point. Well, we'll see. You won't yeah. have to. No. You're good, we'll dude. Good. I'm coming up <laughs> we'll to your whole shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Come on over. That's uh, what I I'm said. not going to do any of the work, I'll obviously. Save some but... squirrel penises for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's dye. It's dye. dye. I'd appreciate it if you use the uh, <laughs> proper terminology. Proper terminology yeah. for uh, the plural of squirrel dicks. It's squirrel dye. <laughs> Um, I would love some of those, just me and you hanging out, you know, fresh fire that you've made for us, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then just roasting some squirrel dye that uh, do you want you've them on prepared the and curated. What's the... You can do it either way. I mean, I, <laughs> look, it. It, yeah, the hot... No, 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 no. You want to slow roast those uh, rotisseries. You want to go a little rotis on those squirrel dyes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm just saying, if shit pops off, yeah, dude, I'll be up there. I'll stack them up for you. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate yeah. it, and I'll, I'll eat them, and uh, you know, and, may, and maybe some, uh, you know, some of the organ meat too. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we, we, well can probably, you, we can probably skip that. But when I wake up at 11 a.m. <laughs> every day, and you've obviously and all put the work in, is already done. Yeah, you've already that put in be, a good like seven hours at that point. Yeah. I just know that I'm going to give you a, a nice uh, <laughs> whistle through the yeah. old teeth. And that means I want the squirrel die um, up at the house. <laughs> and that's kind of how I wake up in the morning. We need to do, a, we need to do like a, a severely entitled uh, rancher. Oh, a sketch? That'd yeah. be so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, yeah. and it's spring over that squirrel die. Just yeah. kind of wake up. Um, the robe pops open. Oh, yeah. I'm buck naked. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's like top I, of the morning to you. Yeah. You the know? ranch hands would love that oh, yeah. shit. I yeah. can tell yeah. you how that ends. It ends with you getting murdered. <laughs> 100%. Brand new cowboy hat that I got at a Bucky's. Oh, yeah. Gas yeah. station. Just yeah. pop that on. So a robe pops open. Ding dong flops out. And it's just like, uh, and you're like, dude, if that motherfucker whistles one more, one more time, time, I'm going to drop him. Yeah. I'm going to drop it. that guy like yeah. a fucking sack of nickels on an Atlantic City casino floor. Um, with you, Shelly, where do you live at and reside in this life? I'm in Dallas, Texas. Oh, shit. All right. Not far. Dallas Not far. is popping we're, off these days. We're going to be up there May 8th for that Canelo fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We're, uh, finally, people were back in the stadiums. Yeah. So we got 60K um, back there. And uh, yeah, Texas didn't give a fuck, apparently. No. They're like, hey, we're going to allow 100%, but you guys wear your mask. And they were like, uh, no, we're not doing either one of those things, actually. We're going to come at 110% and not wear masks. So get fucked. It was interesting. Yeah. Is that why they gave you guys a storm and shut the fucking power off? No, that was before. The storm was before. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't. Just a theory. Who, who's the they that's controlling the weather, though? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I need to hear about this theory. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Not, not. Uh, if we could control the weather, that'd be pretty fun. Be, to be honest. It'd be, it'd be the best, yeah. especially for what we do. Yeah. Come on, man. I it would always be sunny and 72 degrees here, but everywhere else it would suck. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it's fun to be in the suck sometimes. Like, yeah. I don't want to live in snow, but I damn sure like to visit it. I don't yeah. want to live in the 90 degree heat, but I like to go to the beach when it's 90 degrees sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. You're in Colorado. That's a mess up there. I saw that Denver storm and I was like, good luck. Yeah. It's it snowed a lot there this year. But Bullshit. I mean, I mean that, that Denver storm was crazy. It was a couple weeks ago. For yeah, Denver, though, they're in the city. They People that live out. for that. It's not like yeah. Texas. I mean, they're out yeah. there on the airport, you know, runways with the plows. Oh, dude, that's why I was late today. So my, I lost the first floor, six pipes burst in the house. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I've got to meet like nine different people to repair all the shit and, mm -hmm. and everything else. Not prepare for it. Again, if you were at the house, a different story, man. <laughs> you should have just had him build your house, yeah. And yes. cook you squirrel deck. Just why don't you leave me a list and I'll take care of that <laughs> shit before I leave. Time. I wish, dude. I, yeah. No lie on the, on the episode you before need. this. You need a husband. You need a real man in your life <laughs> that can do all this stuff for you. It's not that, Dan. You, you need, I just... You I, need a really butch rancher gay husband that's, that'll that's, take care of all your stuff. Maybe we need to do a southern version of fucking Queer Eye. That's what yeah, we need. that's cool. it's called Colton Underwood. Um, <laughs> that happened today, He's by out. the way. He's I out. called that two years ago. Yes, you did you did but um, i mean it's there's actually a study uh i think it was stanford that did it 
83 percent of people can recognize a gay man just by his face a still image of his face yeah 83 yeah. percent of people can do it so it's really interesting wow. there was yeah. only there's only one show that I, I i i didn't tell dan about and that was that one because uh, yeah. i the, uh, when i said colton underwood was coming on the day before your your response was no lie you go oh that guy is gay and i was like well dan we can't say that on the air uh, I didn't, by the way i don't care no not at all but it was it clear it, it was, was clear right? and then my my wife had said the same thing and then i woke oh, yeah. up this morning on good morning america mm -hmm. having his whole coming out party and i was like oh, shit. he's a good dude by the way yeah he's great dude like, he's great nice guy. guy he was awesome and i was like yeah. but when you're that nice you know you're gay you're like all right sweet like this guy's a fucking asshole yeah i know, you know he's not gay no he's there's no way yeah Come yeah on. i mean he's there's no way. Real piece of shit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know that you're definitely not gay. And I've probably had never had well, a dick anywhere near your mouth. He's not that. Like that, ever in your life. That part I'll co-sign on. The piece of shit part, though, is going to be hard to explain when he rolls out this check for the boot campaign. That he's it's true. That's yeah. true. Uh, can we can we bring it in? Is that Are we, are we allowed to do this on here? Sure. Is that cool? This is America. Yeah, sure. We could do whatever yeah, come we want. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. We, we uh, let's go to a it. wide if yeah, we can for it. this. Um, there you go. Is Here's this your partner I mean. at Mountain Primal? Yeah, this is Darren. Be careful how you use the word partner now since you've been talking <laughs> yeah, about this shit. Sorry. <laughs> sorry go. about it. Thanks, Darren. Um, yeah. So Mountain Primal Meat Company is donating $100,000 to the boot campaign. Is that real? Yeah, that's, that's real. for real. No shit. Yeah, we've been doing this for, what is this, the fifth year? The fifth year. Yeah. Wow. wow. Five yeah. years together, 100,000. That's a big boy number. A lot is, of people yeah. talk a lot of shit yeah. and, uh, and never actually come through with it. That's a big boy number. Are man. you talking about Conor McGregor? Yes. Dude, even celebrities, man, who say they're going to donate yeah. to charities. Yeah. That is literally going on in the press right now with the Conor McGregor yeah. thing. But, dude, yeah, you're, I mean, you're a... I mean, based, based on all the good, good info that Shelly shared with the audience today, I mean, that's, that's why we're doing it. Right, so, for sure. Yeah. And you, you, I assume you guys give to other stuff as well, but this is a pretty big situation right it's a, here. Yeah, a lot of money right. yeah there you tremendous go. gift we that's are very awesome. thankful that's awesome that man. needs to go on your side now because i'm not taking that home with me right <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah, so can you put that in the atm how does that work yeah, yeah. you slide not, that not big exactly check through this but yes. yeah 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 <laughs> um, so give us give us a rundown on what that purchases like how many veterans get helped with a hundred oh gosh um it? Well, we, we kind of started with the whole reboot thing. Yeah, I mean, I think our health and wellness program, it all depends, right? There's some veterans that only need $9,000 worth of care, mm. and then there's some veterans that need $190,000 right. worth of care. Like, yeah. And what I mean, it's individualized to every single veteran. Right. Um, and so John's commitment to us, he's a man of his word, um, and he does things by the book, and he made this promise to Morgan, and I'm honored to be able to steward it um, for the last five years, so... It's an incredible gift. Yeah, it's been good. It, it really is because, I mean, I, you don't see it very often. And when you do, like, you know, as much as we've joked around on all the shit today, like, it's pretty incredible, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's yeah, changing it's a, people's we're, lives. We're That's the thing. It, is, it's a, it not, is a great honor to be able to do something like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. I mean, these, these are our friends and mm. great Americans that are going through this program. So we feel compelled and we feel right. honored to be able to, you know, put that out there right. to to people that need the help. Well, so the sad reality really is that the vast majority of people don't blink. They hear these issues and they're like, oh, oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then there are people that step up and fucking do something. Well, right? and I've talked to people that have come through the, uh, the health and wellness piece and I mean, they, it, it works. Yeah, you know? the, obviously. The science yeah. behind it really yeah, yeah. truly works. So we know that the, uh, the dollars are, are going directly to helping great people. Right. So it feels good. That's amazing. Um, we do this thing on the show. I don't. I don't know if you watch. Uh, called the Drinking Bro of the Week or Broette. Uh, and as someone who who's inspired you or helped you become the person you are today, uh, we'll start with you, Shelly. Who would you like to give it to? Oh gosh. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> That's pressure, and you're starting with me. Yeah, um, Shelly. Well, you've been so goddamn talkative today. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude. You just won't stop. So. You won't shut up. I'm like, I'm, say who? Say what you want to say. I think you know. Obviously, I'm sitting next to John, who's an incredible patriot. I think for me, it's just every single person that has really, um, versus one individual, every single person that's had the strength to ask for help. Because mm -hmm. asking for help is probably harder than actually getting the help. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's those guys and gals who put their faith in what we do every day um, to make a difference. So. Well, and hopefully us sitting here talking about it on the show is we're, we're reaching some new people that maybe haven't had the courage to reach out. And so yeah. that's what it's there for. Yeah. It is. Um, and who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? 
Uh, and, and what's the basis of this? <laughs> Someone who has inspired you or helped you become the person you are today. Obviously, since you've murdered somebody, don't say somebody like the BTK guy or something. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't no, say that, BTK. That, that one's easy for me. That'd be my father. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny. A lot of people say their father on here, and when they don't, chances are they're a piece of shit dad. Yeah. No, mine, was, mine was a piece of shit. Tell yeah. me about your dad. So my dad, he's, he's still around. Mm. Um, you know, he raised me and my brother. Uh, started three businesses when we were kids, put us through college, you know, beat our asses, yeah. you know, not, not in a physical sense, right, but right. like, yeah. you know, tested us, let mm. us test ourselves, you know, basically gave us the, uh, the palette to develop our lives and become the people that we wanted to be. But we always ended up, you know, turning backwards and, uh, trying to emulate the good example that he was for us. So it was pretty easy. That's great. Does yeah. he live by you? No, he's he's in Minnesota, but we get back there all the time. He doesn't where, travel a whole Where lot. in Minnesota is he? He's up uh, northern Minnesota on one of those big lakes up there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Good awesome. spot. Good place so to be, we, actually. Yeah, we hang out with him there during the summer. Um, I'm yeah. looking at your boots now. What are, what are those right now? These are Danners. Mm -hmm. Danners? Yep. yep. Yeah. Can we see those on the on the table there? Hell yeah. There you, go. you know what they're not? They're Size not those. 13. They're not. They're not <laughs> those is. boots that Bert Koontz promised to send you two years. No, they're ago. not. Uh, and that's a great point. That's why I wanted to bring it up, Bert Koontz. Um, we're gonna go ahead and focus on me. These are my boots, Bert. That I, I dropped three hundred at it. Whatever. What's that? Well, those are boot Buster's, shop in, in Austin. Uh, it's right. It's right on uh, South Congress there. What, it's it's great. It's like it's massive. You walk in and uh, they're they're not in boxes Lucchese. and everything else. Lucchese? Yeah, uh, no. oh, that might be yeah. cabiners. No, yeah, it might be cabiners. Jesus, we've pumped, yeah. some, we pimped Allen's. Up. There it is, oh, wow. Allen's. Yeah. Goddamn, yeah, you guys. Every boot brand. You guys are front, yeah. Um, and I just for Bert Koontz. <laughs> hey, bud, I had to get some. Uh, I had to get some some boots because you you never sent me them. You're working. You're you have no problem sending him a whole goddamn bison to <laughs> shop up and send around the world, and you couldn't get me boots. So I had to go out and drop three bills on these guys, and these are great, right? These are what a real cowboy wears because I'm one. He's not. Um, I don't. You look like he's wearing hipster boots. I've got the real shit here, Bert, and uh, I haven't forgot it. I'm pretty sure real cowboy boots it. aren't purchased on South Congress in Austin. <laughs> um, my, actually, my, my cowboy boots are out in the truck, and I carry a fucking boot knife. How about you? <laughs> me? Oh, no, he's got a boot tampon. He just probably, got you yeah. boots today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did. He, yeah. he, he bought me some boots, That's and I'll, true, yeah. I'll start wearing those, Bert, because, jeez, <laughs> my God, man. He made great boots over at Bison Union. Yeah, yeah you see them up the, on the, the ones, website. The ones that have the flag and the buffalo. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're great. Same, same thing, yeah. by the way. Well, have you guys yes. been to the Bernie store? Uh, yeah, uh, I have. Yes, well, yes. I know, I've, I've been, I haven't been inside of it. It was closed the last time I went down there. But yeah, I, Candace, every time I go to Bernie and I post about it on the internet, she's like, we got to come by the shop. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I will, I will eventually. We'll get No, I, I, I have been. Um, they do not have my size boots in there or the boots that I wear. I've been to the, the shop and shared them. They didn't and, have my size boots. No, dude. It's Bert's whole thing is bullshit. Like, yes, buy the meat. It's amazing, right? But the boots, Bert, we're done with this bullshit, man. <laughs> it's been three years. Go to the boot campaign and get boots now. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not telling you to go to Bison Union for boots anymore. Go to the boot campaign. That's you know? Good. Thank you. Yes. He doesn't need that. <laughs> business if he can't send me some shit after three years i went to the website too to buy him like every time i check i set like a reminder on my phone of like oh it's time to buy those boots again not there you know <laughs> click it open and it's just a just a I sad face there you just have bad luck with footwear in general it's great, my, great yeah. advice no these these boots are fine um i enjoy them um look they're a lot better than yours come on man <laughs> real cowboy again uh, i'll be at your house when the apocalypse i told you happens. buster frierson is the cowboy he really is he is he is one of the most fascinating interviews of all time oh he's yeah you're never gonna meet a more honest guy than buster where you're just like holy shit yeah. um yeah uh, you guys are awesome. This was a fun show. We've been mm -hmm. drinking all day and just kind of hanging out and stuff. Like, uh, <laughs> usually, you wouldn't think about that, right? No. Like, did you guys pop in here today and be like, holy shit, are we going to be drinking whiskey all day with these of guys? Of course, that's the name of the podcast, right? It is, but you never know what's going to shake <laughs> out. I feel like we named it that for a reason, but a lot of people show up like, oh, you guys are drinking? It's new. And I'm like, the name of the show is <laughs> Drinking Bro. Like, I got into an argument the other day. Some guy rode by me on a fucking bicycle, right? Mm -hmm. On the sidewalk. And I'm like, motherfucker, yeah. what are you doing? And he like stops 10 feet behind me and like, hey, what'd you say? I'm like, sidewalk, walk. Right. It's in the fucking name of the product, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Ride your bike on the fucking street yeah. or get a car like an adult. 
And when you say that to a bicyclist and you look like you were at the insurrection, that's when shit (laughs) pops off and you're like, all right, I'm going to speed away. I'm sure that guy sped away. He he was not interested in staying to continue the conversation, if that's what you're asking. No, not at all. I do look like I just stumbled out of a militia camp in the woods. Yeah. With a beard and the whole stupid shit, yeah. Shelly, you ever slapped another woman? Um, No. Okay. We'll get one. Well, you guys are going downtown Austin tonight. You'll slap somebody for sure. (laughs) Yeah, figure it out. See what happens. You you know why I asked you that? My mom asked me that one time. She was like, uh, that girl you're dating? She was like, it was a long time ago. She goes, I don't trust her. I don't like her. I don't think you should date her anymore. I was like, why that? Like, looks like she slapped another woman before. <laughs> I was like, is that a bad thing? Because yeah. um, to me, shit happens. And if it happens, it happens. Like slap another woman. <laughs> and we might as well just keep going here. Let's just, let's, let's pour the whiskey around and just keep, I'm, I'm totally sorry. kidding. He's looking. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's a real guy he fucking moved his glass closer to the fucking <laughs> that is by the way that's like subconscious <laughs> like if somebody like if like someone's like hey you guys want another to get a drink oh fucking there you go yeah that's exactly what happened right there man i don't know who you murdered in the past but i know they fucking deserved it dude they fucking deserved it um mountainprimal.com do you got any specials uh go ahead and, and fire away do you got any specials out there it's all special <laughs> there we go there yeah no no buy it up i mean Get on the website, find what you like. There's something for everybody. There's sausages. There's all kinds of bacon, good. Sausage, ground beef, New York strip, yeah, ribeye, bison. There's also, there's bison also Union real bison. nice merch. Yeah, you yeah. Because we took your advice, Ross, and last good branding. Five minutes, yes. And had our web guy add the merch on there. You have to, but it's <laughs> yeah. got to be good merch, dude. Or nobody's going to good merch. Nobody's going to wear a guild end. I know that's yeah. not a guild end. I well, know it. Let's get. We got like the little tags and the special stuff. Yeah, it's good nice. Merch. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. So go to mountainprimal.com. Uh, for all that, is there a subscription to this? Because a lot of these have subscriptions where you can just get it you sent can. to your house. Yeah, we, we don't do uh, crazy subscriptions on like the steaks and things like that that, that are super scarce and go quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can get subscriptions on some of the ground products and sauces. Right. If yeah. you're, by the way, that's a good point. If you're on one of those meat company websites and you see subscription for high in demand products like uh, uh, wa- from Wagyu Australia. beef. They're coming from somewhere yeah. else, one, and two, it's factory process stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's like high volume and think, think Amazon. Yeah, right I mean, mean, the best thing for people to do is sign up on our email list because then the people that are on the email list get notified uh, prior to anybody else right. and we do a meat drop. So. Yeah. A so meat drop? Do. Yeah, meat drop. Meat drop yeah. is, that's one of the sexiest phrases I've ever heard. I used to do it in college all the time. <laughs> well, that's not really what I was getting at. Yeah. Well, I'm too thinking late. about the actual meat. Too bad, my no. man. So no. was I. Well, I was thinking about the actual meat myself. Figurative uh, meat. <laughs> Shelly, the boot campaign. Yeah. What do you guys have coming up here? Gosh, well, we've got the 31 mm. to 31 launching May 1st. Want people to donate $31 or move their bodies for 31 miles or 3.1 miles if you can't do the whole 31. Um, we got boots all the time. I'll give the money. I'm not running or walking anywhere. Yeah. You're, you're going to get $62 when make the show ends from both of us. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Just don't make me run. <laughs> I left the 82nd like Airborne for a reason. I'm done with that shit. I'm not yeah. running anywhere ever again. <laughs> if, even if I die, I'm just fucking not running. It's yeah. Not well, you yeah. have to run. Do you swim? Cycle? I'm not doing anything. No, Dan is <laughs> You're lucky that. I'm even here right now. Let's yeah. Yeah. You're lucky Dan's alive today. I'll take 31 shots over the course of two days. Two days, I'm not yeah. doing it in one day. That's too no, much. 16 and a half each day, right? Yeah. Uh, that's quick math, and that was incorrect. Yeah, definitely <laughs> correct. You're when, you, when, you, right when you drink at noon, you, you shouldn't throw out figures that you don't, you don't know anything about. Tell me about know? this redneck triathlon on June 5th. Cause <laughs> yeah, I, what is that? Is this like, this is like Tough Mudder, but for hillbillies? Is that what this is? Kind of. There's no athletic prowess required. It is in Alito, Texas, and it is the Bonnell brothers who put this on. John Bonnell owns several mm. restaurants um, in the Fort Worth area, and it is um, axe throwing and shooting clays from a toilet and um flamethrowers and all sorts of crazy redneck, redneck games yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that would be awesome noodling huh? with the catfish oh yeah, yeah. a lot know? of good sponsors oh, yeah. here too uh old smoky moonshine everybody sees them around these days they're in the mason jar you yeah. see those and yeah shit i did uh, an event with old smoky oh, yeah. back in the day yeah. yeah i'm a big fan of those Tito, guys tito's is on here shiner again loophole a lot of good companies a lot of stuff going on there that's great is, is uh hannah baron coming out for that noodling thing no you know her right I know of her. I do not yeah. know her. Personally. She noodles <laughs> for a living, it seems like. Yeah. Um, she took out a friend of ours, Heather, 
uh, Heather Lynn. Heather from, Lynn, yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw and she they, got beat up by the catfish. She got, oh, yeah, I, I think, bit. like, I mean, two fingers broken yeah. or something. Catfish are assholes, though, man. Yeah, they're dicks, dude. Like, catfish are assholes to reel in on a line. So somebody was like, you know what we should do is fucking use our fucking hand. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, man, shoot that thing in the face a bunch of times until it's dead. Dumb. <laughs> Dumb. I'm all about efficiency. Same. It's not about the journey for me. It's, it is definitely about the Blasted. destination. Yeah. Same. I'll shoot that thing right in the face. Man, I don't give a fuck about no. the journey, man. No. Um, <laughs> Journeys I'm, are bullshit. Yeah. Like the alligator hunting is what I'm down for. Yeah. Drop in something, spin it around, and then pow, shoot, pow. It, shoot it with a 45 in the face the Cow. next morning, and then that's it. call it hunting. <laughs> Chop it up. Grill it. Let's, yeah. let's rock. <laughs> Squirrel die, my man. I'll be at your <laughs> house uh, probably... June through uh, July of 2023, just kind of chilling. Um, I get some time off and uh, <laughs> need some fresh meat in my mouth. So um, are you open or what's your schedule? You like, you're pretty flexible? I'll really? have you talk to my assistant. Yeah. 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 And also yeah. maybe rethink the phrasing and that delivery a little bit. Which one? All of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm going to, well, you check your sketch, dude, and I'll be up there for some squirrel dye, just kind of chilling in Colorado. That's a squirrel dye. We can figure it out. Yeah. yeah. You've, you've got her with the clever nickname. Now she wants to eat squirrel dicks too. No, I do not. Worldwide. But you're stuck Fried on it. Yeah. squirrel yeah. dick. Some dye. Because what you need is about five dye on those, yeah. uh, on a wooden stick, like a kebab. It's kind of, mm. it's more or less like a kebab. Do you split it up with like the peppers and onions and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't do tomatoes because that's, that's tomato, bullshit. Yeah, tomatoes aren't real. Whenever somebody puts a tomato on a kebab, I'm like, who the fuck are you, dude? If it seems like a fruit and, or a vegetable and somebody calls it a fruit, I'm like, out. Of yeah, that and entirely. why would you put it on a grill? Tomato, why would you put a tomato, tomato on a grill? Tomatoes are pointless. Let's be real. They Awful. Have, there's no nutritional value and they don't make sense. Yeah. Why is it all firm on the outside and all squishy on the inside? I don't like it. <laughs> Don't need it. And you don't need to grill that We're shit. We're anti-tomato here. Fuck Yeah. Tomatoes. If we could get a, a boycott going on those, it'd be great. Yeah. The it'd 28th really Amendment to the Constitution is going to be no more tomatoes. No more tomatoes. But uh, I'll see you soon, man. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this, I'll, dude. I'll be waiting. Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to be, moving gonna in. be waiting with a six fucking five creed more down the down, <laughs> Just like, you'll be dialed in. Nah. Yeah, I'll, sure. be, I'll, I'll fit right in. I'll come up. Oh, yeah. I've got I've got a pickup truck along with these Wait, boots. So, so we're we're know. actually thinking Jared and I have been talking about doing a new segment for the show where we make Ross do stuff like go through Tim Kennedy's fucking shoot house. Ooh, that's uh, a good and his wrestling. Like that his I would I would love place. to go through we that. We could have quite uh, a video of him doing some ranching. The, yeah, the yeah, ranching yeah. stuff, uh, rally car stuff. We basically Jared and I want to slowly kill, mur kill murder me, yeah, yeah. Ross. Yeah, well, <laughs> but we want the life be, insurance policy. The life insurance will pay off a lot, if yeah. it's. Like the, if we're doing it for the show. Yeah. So if he dies in a rally car fire, Great. like uh, Paul Walker, for example. RIP. Uh, yeah. We can collect that money. So yeah. that's a lot yeah. of money yeah. for us. Yeah, it is. And the entertaining content of watching you burn alive is also. Well, added you know, bonus. it's there. It's yeah. there. Um, but again, I'll, I'll just pop over to your house and uh, say, I'll just give it a little rap on the door. Yeah. You know, and say, hey. Yeah. It's, it's time for us to rage. Yeah, front door. Don't try that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a back door man. Okay. No, no. Hey, hey you, like you door. said it, I didn't. Uh, we we're talking about Colton o o Underwood earlier, so uh, uh, it is what it is. He's up in Colorado too. I, seriously, my first when when all the fucking apocalypse stuff starts happening soon, stopping by Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Yep. Picking up a couple of guns. Yep. Um, and then I'm heading to his place. Yeah. 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 But you got to earn your keep up there, dude. Uh, you know that, right? I do and I don't, you know? Well, you're going to find out really goddamn we, quickly. We have a hard keep, seltzer coming out. Are yeah. you a drinker? Just just keep telling the funny jokes. That's all we need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but we also have a hard seltzer coming out this fall, so we can get endless supplies of that. It's 8%. That's true, yeah. So everyone can get rocked on the ranch at yeah. least. Um, and low calorie. You look like a fit man. And it's uh, does it quench your thirst? God damn it right does it keep does. you pretty high. That's why I yeah. actually, that's why I drink seltzers, to be honest, because it keeps me hydrated through the day. Yeah. Because we drink all goddamn day. <laughs> If I drink whiskey all goddamn day, I would be dehydrated all a the time. A mess. Then you start doing shows like this. Well, this well, I'm asking. She wouldn't shut the fuck up the whole yeah, time. Yeah, Shelly wouldn't shut the fuck up. And I'm asking this murderer here if I can sleep <laughs> over at his house and have him make me squirrel die, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Um, oh boy! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. This is one of the, the best shows of all time. Yeah, um, this, <laughs> this is definitely the the most amount of money that's exchanged hands in one of these shows before. Yes, and for great. a great cause too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully that we can motivate other people to do the same. For sure. Yeah. So tell everybody where they can find you and yep. give money to your organization. Yes. Campaign.org. Okay, great. Go to the boot campaign.org, and where can everybody find your uh, uh, your meats? Mountainprimal.com. Yeah, it is. Yeah. God damn it, man. <laughs> That's You're, a good name, and the logo's is. good, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's literally just a caveman throwing a spear. Yeah, his name's Prometheus. Oh, wow. Ah. Meet. 
Pro me. Looks a lot oh, like me. That. Did you model it after me? Is it was that the logo or? <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it was. A I think sturdy they, man like that. They got the, a spear. Uh, they got the. Uh, 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 original picture from when you were at film school in NYU. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Man, I look amazing on this. You're welcome for my uh, licensing, obviously, and, and my yeah. image and all that stuff. Uh, I'll be seeing you here in a couple months. We appreciate you stopping by the show. Mm. Fire up the squirrel die, kids. For D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. <laughs>